Do you need to optimize your marketing images with AI? Well, I have the solution for you. There's a lifetime deal that can do that right now. So let's get started. What's up, everyone? So this is Creative Score, and we're able to get an in-depth report of how the image is going to perform and recommendations that we should apply to these images. Now, in this case, I've uploaded some images for testing, and I've already got some scores and details for each one of these that I uploaded. So right now, this is on a lifetime deal. So that means you can grab it now starting at $79 for the lifetime deal, and you'll be able to start analyzing your images with AI right away. Now, this is a fantastic deal for a business use, personal use. And if you want to analyze images to give feedback, this is actually fantastic. You'll make some money with this. Now, $79 will get you access to 75 credits. Now, I've been doing some tests and I've been getting a deduction of 50 credits per check. So do consider that, all right? Licensed tier two deal will get you 200 credits and tier three will get you 600 credits. So do consider those with the amount of payment and what you're gonna get to balance that out if it's the right fit for you or not. Okay, so what kind of details can we get from Creative Score? In my case, I uploaded three, three images, two thumbnails, and I got the score for these. Now, these are, I could say on point because I uploaded these two images and my click through rate is higher on this one, which is scored higher because of that reason. So that gives me a, an idea that this is actually analyzing really well. Now, let me show you this one, which is an image that I have for one of the videos. And I got a score of 65, which is good. And I got this graph right here, which will tell me kind of where this is leading to. And right now I'm getting clarity. So that's like the main point of this, that I do get attention and aesthetic, but I'm like really low or almost zero on virality score, on narrative, on motivation, memorability, emotion. So I need to work on those points to obviously optimize my image. So I got this score right here for the influence factor, which is pretty good. Headline is really bad. I mean, that's bad. Storytelling, again, that's like less than 50%, which is bad. Emotion is off. So I need to work on these three points. It's just like a clear idea of what I should improve on generating my thumbnails in this case. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can actually use this too to analyze. So if you have a marketing business and you wanna analyze competitor images, you can use this to give them a report of how the image is going to perform or how it's doing. Then I got a radar right here that's telling me where the hotspots are, which is where people are going to focus more on the image. And then we have the recommendations. So it's like things that I need to improve for my image and the strengths. So these will help me out, decide how I make my future images or if I need to remake this image. Then I have my eye tracking. So eye tracking is another in-depth tool here that is going to let you know how the eye tracking is going to do. So I got a 78 score on this one and I got the attention cognitive demand clarity is good it's good engagement 75 so it's overall good but cognitive demand should be improved and here's my recommendations for the eye tracking and then i can view the image for example for the attention the fog map the aoi there we go let's go ahead and open this up and here's the percentages of how this is going to perform in the different sections the cognitive demand clarity map engagement map and just the original asset there then I also have the content, which is the headlines, the details that are on the image. And this is below average, so I definitely need to improve that. Here we go with the recommendations, the copy details. So here again, recommendations and strength, the visuals, 71 score, recommendations and strength, the persuasion levels. So for storytelling, in this case, it's pretty bad. I mean, less than 70%, I would consider bad. And it's actually doing really bad. So I definitely go, I need to go through the recommendations and maybe I'm not just going to improve this image. I'm going to work on the future images to make them better. The emotion, here we go, 49. And here's the recommendations. Uh, no strengths in this one, so that I'm doing pretty bad on that one. The influence factors and the psychology. So behavior science in this case and behavior science principles applied to marketing content. And again, these are the evaluations, how it could be implemented. And these are just details that will help me out improving my images neuro-linguistic programming and emotions. So I know that I'm not going to go through all of this right here and read everything for you, but the idea of having this tool in a lifetime deal that's going to analyze the images, I think is a fantastic deal. Now for me, a creme de la crop is for using it for personal use or for analyzing the competitor. That's where I think this would shine. You can definitely convince a company to bring over the content to you by showing them an analysis like this. This is telling them that you are really professional 
that you aren't analyzing what the other person is doing and that you can improve it. Obviously, you have to do your job and do a better job than the other one is doing. But getting this as a report is a really good option. So definitely check it out. Creative score right now on a lifetime deal. Link provided in the description. So grab it, test it out, and you have a 60-day money-back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. So that's a wrap.